Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be very different. So many of you have asked me how I feel about the situation in Ukraine that I decided to make a video dedicated to that. I would like to begin by saying that I'm not a politician, I'm a linguist. All my multiple degrees and decades of teaching experience are in linguistics. That is my area of expertise and that's why this account is dedicated to that and that's why this is what I choose to share with all of you here. Secondly, I was born and raised in Russia, but I spent many summers in Ukraine as a child. I still have family both in Russia and Ukraine, so this topic and these troubles affect my family on a very personal level. Third, I am Russian, but I have a Ukrainian last name. In the US, I've seen even bigger diversity. And I know how many people struggle when they are forced by the governments to log themselves into particular check boxes on those official forms where we are told to identify our ethnicity. In the modern world, we are so intertwined, we are so connected, we are really just one. And when something happens in one part of this very small globe, it affects all of us, as we've all seen with this COVID pandemic. We all hurt when someone suffers anywhere on this planet. So going back to the question about how I feel about the current situation in Ukraine and Russia, as any mentally healthy and emotionally healthy person, of course I feel horrible. So I'm going to continue praying for both countries and all other countries in this world where people are suffering, where people are affected by some political events, and hope that peace returns as soon as possible. Meanwhile, I would like to remind everyone that this account was created for short lessons on the Russian language and the culture as it relates to the language. I've made the decision to make this video to address a frequently asked question, but now I intend to go back to making videos about the language for those who are interested in that topic. I wish you all the very best.